This is what you're gonna learn on this video. We're gonna complete a Google form uh, with uh, some answers and you will see how this answer is gonna be received on a WhatsApp group once it's submitted. So as you see here, there's the answer. Let's jump into it. So these are the steps that uh, we are gonna follow to complete the whole uh, setup of the environment. The first thing we need to do is uh, create a new Google Form. This is pretty simple, we just navigate to Forms. We're gonna choose uh, one of these templates, uh, this one here, for example. On this template, uh, we're gonna give it a name. Let's call it uh, um, test form. We're gonna give a description for this uh, new form that we are creating. The rest of the fields, um, I'm gonna get rid of uh, some of them. I don't want to complete all the form on every test, so let me check. Uh, well, I guess this is, this is enough. So whenever you submit a form, you know that you can link it to a Google Sheet. We're gonna create one. This is the sheet that is gonna contain all the answers um, to, uh, to this form. So now um, the next thing is gonna be creating the WhatsApp group that is gonna be receiving the notifications. So for that, we're gonna navigate to uh, this uh, API that we are using. Uh, you can find it here on Rapid API, API Hub. Um, if you sign in, you're gonna be able to uh, find it under the name of Win, this one here. You need to be subscribed to this API. It is completely free. Uh, I'm gonna leave you uh, a card to complete the sign-up process just in case. So once we're within the API play playground, we need to go to create group. This endpoint here is gonna create a WhatsApp group for you. Uh, so let's first uh, make sure that we have WhatsApp web available. We click here. So the group has been created. You will receive a WhatsApp message in which you've been uh, promoted to uh, admin of the group. This is a regular WhatsApp group. You can add participants, you can do, I mean, all the things that you typically do with a, with a WhatsApp group. So uh, now that we have the WhatsApp group created, uh, we're gonna get the unique URL of the WhatsApp group. This is the destination of all the notifications that we are going to be receiving whenever our form is submitted. So for that, we need to go to this endpoint here called Personal Listener, and we need to complete these fields here. The first one is the group ID. This is this long string here. We just copy and paste it here. And then we need to select the origin of the notifications. In this case, we're going to be using if this and that. So we just uh, click there and click on test endpoint. So we get this URL here. Now the next step is, uh, is gonna be uh, creating the form uh, notification source in if this and that. For that again, we navigate to if this and that. We click here on create. You have two uplets for free on the free tier. On the services, we need to find Google uh, Forms. We want to uh, receive responses notifications, so we go here, and you already see that we already have available the form that we just created, this one, test form. So it automatically populates the name. We create a trigger. Then uh, Whenever a form is received, we want to get a webhook notification. We click here on um, make web request, and we have to put here the URL, this URL that we uh, got before. 
So we copy it and paste it here. Let me remove the space. So um, here there is a placeholder for the uh, API key that we need to copy from the playground. This is the API that you need to paste here. So we paste the API key, all the rest, um, you don't have to change it. We change the method to post, the content type, we select text plane. And then we need to uh, set the body that we are gonna be receiving. So for that, we are gonna use these uh, symbols to say something that you have a new answer on, well, I think it is, it is enough, you have a new answer. And then we wanna add ingredient and we will be receiving the URL of the new response. That's all. So we click here on create action and uh, we are all set. We click continue. Let's give it a nice title. For example, if a new answer is received on test form, then, um, then send a WhatsApp to my group. So with this description, we just click Receive Notifications and Submit. So from that point, we can uh, make sure that the applet has been turned on, as you can see here. And now it's time to, uh, well, remember that the polling is happening uh, uh, not that frequently, so we are going to create a new answer to the form. This is the URL. I will copy and let's uh, create the first answers to my form. So I'll, I'll say a name, my name, uh, an email address. And I will complete this. Um, well, click here and here and here, and I just send the form. So now that the form has been sent, we have the answer here on the spreadsheet that is uh, getting all the answers. And if we navigate back to if this and that, um, let me first get ready the WhatsApp. Uh, if we navigate back and we uh, refresh, manually, we will be receiving, as you can see, a WhatsApp on my group with a URL to the answer. So the applet run, you see here all the content, and we can click and uh, actually see the answer that has been sent. So it is that easy. You have, uh, from now on, all your uh, form answers received on your WhatsApp group. So let's create a second one. This is gonna be the second answer. Um, let's put an email here. We click here, here, and here, and we just submit. We uh, have sent it, make sure that it is indeed here a new, the second answer that we just sent. And now, if we, um, well, actually we were not, it was on the earth. This time it got immediately. So uh, that was it. I hope uh, you liked the video. Uh, please hit like and subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Have fun.